visionary moral awareness. So she becomes this feminine voice of, of um, understanding, uh, you know, what's this really about? It's not really about a physics experiment. It's really about, um, you know, corrupting a planet. So let me give you just an example of some of the, the, the different kinds of poetry. The chorus starts by reading, um, by, by reciting almost like a machine gun, this text that I found in a book called uh, Atomic Energy for Military Purposes. And, I, and they, they sing literally the preface from, from this book. It was a book written in 1945 to explain to people what, what uh, the bomb is about. The end of June 1945, and by the way, I set this to sort of newsreel music, the kind of music that you would hear when you watch those old black and white newsreels that, that used to play before Clark Cable and, you know, uh, Betty Davis came out. The end of June 1945 finds us expecting from day to day to hear of the explosion of the first atomic bomb devised by man. All the problems are believed to have been solved at least well enough to make a bomb practicable. A sustained neutron chain reaction resulting from nuclear fission has been demonstrated. Production plants of several different types are in operation, building a stockpile of the explosive material. We do not know when the first explosion will occur, nor how effective it will be. The devastation from a single bomb is expected to be comparable to that of a major air raid by usual methods. A weapon has been developed that is potentially destructive beyond the wildest nightmares of the imagination. A weapon so ideally suited to sudden unannounced attack that a country's major cities might be destroyed overnight by an ostensibly friendly power. This weapon has been created not by the devilish inspiration of some warped genius, but by the arduous labor of thousands of normal men and women working for the safety of their country. That has not kind of 1940 dream to it as a patriotic dream, but it's the real thing. I took this and I, I, I sort of said the physical poetry, you know, I put it down the line, and then I said that chorus. So much of the first act is involved with um, uh, the scientists arguing over the moral rightness of this, and it, it's, uh, it becomes very, very passionate because, of, particularly one young scientist, Robert Wilson, who Oppenheimer adores. He's a graduate student of uh, Oppenheimer's. And uh, he's actually circulated a petition amongst the young scientists. And they're naive enough to think if they write, if they sign this petition protesting the use of the bomb on Japanese civilians, it would actually get out to President Truman's desk. And Oppenheimer knows that the only thing that could happen would be that they would be arrested by the army as traitors. And he tries to dissuade them first by persuasion and finally 